In this video, I'm going to share with you 21 proven steps I've used to maximize profits over the last seven years of selling on Amazon. Point number one, sales are not going to increase from the moment Q4 starts. What you're really going to see is sales will start increasing late November, but then into December, they'll really start ramping up all the way up into around about the 20th, maybe the 22nd of December, and then they'll start slowing back down again for the end of Q4. Now, my second tip for you is going to be Prime Day, and particularly I'm looking at October the 8th to the 9th. This is going to be Prime Day for Amazon. Now, the one thing you want to be aware of is not only that Amazon has their own Prime Day, you definitely want to be looking at that if you're doing A to A flips, but also as well, other retailers are going to be competing versus Amazon, so they are likely to have discount special offers on those days. So be available to source and be ready. Now, one final top tip I will share with Prime Day is if you are seeing coupon codes being available, you do have to tick the button to get the coupon code. If you don't tick the button, you won't be getting the discount. Now, tip number three, you want to be building a list of products that you want to be buying in the sales ready for Christmas, late November, December. Let's jump on the computer now and I'll show you what you're looking for. So we've got a Christmas calendar right now. And the thing that you're looking at, if I come down to Keeper, is if you notice this sales rank right here has gone up during the year. But what you're noticing in December, it drops down. Also as well, on this sub ranks chart, which is the middle one, you can see this monthly sold has gone really, really high across December. And that's just gonna tell you that this is selling really, really well. When you look at all time, what you are gonna notice is that that sales rank drops down during December. That means this is a product that sells really, really fast. So you wanna be stocking bigger amounts of this product to sell in Q4. Now tip number four is going to be getting access to capital. You are gonna have so many deals to buy that you're actually gonna run out of money. And when you run out of money, you will not be able to get access to capital quick enough. So you've gotta do it in advance. October is the perfect time to get your capital. Think things like credit cards, you can use the normal credit cards, or even like charge cards like Amex. On top of this, also you think about loans and over drafts, any form of capital you can get ready for Q4 is just going to help you buy those profitable deals later on in the year. Q4 tip number five is going to be VAs. Now, if you are thinking about getting a VA for Q4, you've got to be hiring them right now. It takes time to onboard your VA, get them up to speed and for them to be sourcing products to the volumes that you need them to be. So October is pretty much the last time you want to be thinking about this. So be hiring today any VAs that you want. And if you are interested, check out the Fast Track FBA VA Academy. I'll drop a link down below and you can have a free call with us to find out how we've helped over 500 Amazon sellers scale their business. Top tip number six for Q4 is going to be prep centers. The best prep centers are going to shut their doors in Q4. They're not going to be accessible to new sellers like you. So if you're prepping at home right now, or maybe you're thinking about it, but you don't need it right yet, sign up to those prep centers today because in Q4, they will close. They are not looking to take on more clients because they understand their existing clients are going to ramp up their volumes. If you're in the UK, do look at prepared for you if you're in the US look at my good friend Dan a thousand ASINs he is going to be doing epic prep check those guys out they are really really good now my seventh tip for Q4 is going to be networking with other sellers this is probably the one of those game-changing things that you can actually do we're talking about specifically sharing deals what deals that you want to be buying that they can be looking for as well and when they find them they're going to share them back to you number two also be sharing information around what sales are happening any knowledge any things that are going on within the buying or even Amazon that's going to give you a competitive advantage. Now you can join our community, the Amazon FBA War Room. We are currently ranked number one for the best reselling community on the school platform. And I'll drop a link down below where you can join us. Now what I will say is stay to the end because I'll be sharing with you some things that you need to be doing throughout Q4 to prepare for January that no one talks about, which means that you're just going to be ready to maximize what is the third best month for selling in. November is the best time to source. And my eighth top tip for you in Q4 sourcing is going to be around canceled orders. Now specifically, you want to be understanding which suppliers are going to be cancelling your orders and which are not. Why? Because when the big sales are coming up, you really don't want to be wasting your time sourcing on suppliers which are going to cancel your orders. And specifically, if you've got VAs, make sure they know this information as well. Otherwise, they're going to waste a day sourcing for products that you can't even buy. Now, my top tip number nine is going to be credit cards. Now, I'm not particularly looking at credit cards for the credit aspect, but I am going to be looking at them for the protection and the points. If you are spending big, which everyone is in Q4, you really want to be making sure that A, you're protected and credit cards are going to give that to you. And then B, you're getting the points so you can fly first class, business class and travel the world. Top tip number 10 for Q4 is going to be masterminding groups of three to five other sellers. You know each other's stores, you know what you're selling. And every time that they see one of your products 
may be going too cheap, that you should be holding the price high because that product is going to go out of stock in Christmas and therefore you're going to get more profit. Your network is going to tell you. And I cannot stress this enough. If you want to join a like-minded community of other sellers, do check out the Amazon FBA War Room. We're ranked number one for resellers on the school platform. I'll drop a link down below. Now, top tip number 11 for Q4 is thinking about November the 20th. This is going to be probably the earliest that you're going to stop shipping in buying products which are specifically for Q4. We're talking anything which is like Santa, Christmas, anything that has to be sold by the 25th. Right now is probably one of the earliest day, maybe up until about the end of November, the 1st of December, that you want to ship these products in. After this time, it's probably going to be too late with Amazon shipment and delivery times to get it in, get it stocked, get it sold and delivered to the customer to be done before the 25th. So right now, around the 20th of November, that's it. Stop buying anything that has to be sold before the 25th of December. Top tip number 12 for Q4 is going to be November the 29th. We're talking Black Friday. This is probably one of the best times to be buying products. If you're in the UK, you can buy without problems to resell on Amazon. The shipping times are really good. But in the US, you might struggle to get those products in for Christmas. So what you want to be thinking about is buying the products whereby they're not just going to sell in December, but they'll also sell in January and February. Just in case it takes a little bit longer than you expect, you're not going to be stuck with dead stock. But this is probably one of the best times to be buying. Wake up early, work late, get your VAs working on the weekend, incentivize them, have your credit ready. Black Friday, Cyber Monday is the best time all year round to be buying amazing deals. Top tip number 13. For Q4, if you are thinking about buying Black Friday or these products, anything from about Black Friday onwards, 20th of November upwards, you want to be thinking about, hey, if you have the ability to FBM, fulfillment by merchant. This is you buying products, taking them home with you. This can be RA or OA pickup. And then what you're going to be doing is selling them on Amazon, but by FBM, and you can ship them straight away to the customer and get your products sold ASAP. This is one of the best times to be making quick money. And if you have the time and the capacity to do FBM, my God, it's a game changer. You can double, triple your profits in this time. Now, top tip number 14, what sales in Q4? Well, you want to be focusing on the products that you're already selling. Don't be jumping to other categories, other things, because you already know the sales velocity. You already know the products you're selling sell and they're safe to sell. That's really important. No IP complaints, no other issues you're looking at. So sell the products you're already selling. Now, if you're not sure, do look at the following categories which can help you out. Electronics, toys, beauties, and games. These things really see an increase in their volumes over Q4 and can be super helpful for you just wanting to add extra margin or extra profits onto your Amazon business. Just make sure that you are buying buying products that not only sell during Christmas, but also sell all year round. Why? Because if you guess the volumes wrong, you're not in a rush to get them sold before the 25th. You can actually still sell them in January and February and beyond. That's not a problem. Top tip number 15 for Q4. Let's talk about December and let's talk about shipping in times. So particularly, you want to be watching how long it takes Amazon to check in their stock. Right now, we're running about one month from the moment we ship a product to it going live on Amazon. And this can change dramatically during Q4. So for you, keep this in mind. Generally in the US, anywhere between about the 20th of November to the 1st of December is going to be the last chance you have to ship in products that need to be sold before the 25th. In the UK, you can go anywhere between the 1st of December all the way up to about the 12th of December and they'll still get checked in. Just a smaller country, more opportunity to ship in later, which works. But keep an eye on those Amazon shipping in check-in times. It's going to be so, so important for you. Top tip number 16, let's maximize the time we have left in Q4. Now, if the last shipments have gone in, so you can't ship anything else left, or you can be doing FBM. This is a real game changer in the Amazon space. We're talking RA or OA pickup, you getting those products to your house, listing them on Amazon that day, getting them sold that day. This is a game changer. And if you're able to do this well and you have the time, you can double, if not triple your profits, which can just change the game for Q4. So definitely be looking at from the 1st, the 12th of December, all the way up until around the 20th of December. Think about RA or OA pickup and doing FBM fulfillment by merchant, this can be super helpful. Top tip number seven, Q4 December reprices. Anywhere between about the 1st and up until about the 22nd of December, you want to be watching your repricer. Particularly, we're looking for two key things. One, products that we need to get sold really quickly or sold out because we can't afford to have them after the 25th. That's really important. So get aggressive on them if you need to. Watch the stock levels, watch the repricer, get those products sold. And then number two, for those products where
whereby the stock levels are quite low and the volumes are starting to increase in the sales velocity, you might want to hold on and see if you can increase your prices to get more profits. And if you get this right, this can change the game for Q4 and really double, triple, quadruple your profitability per product because everyone's running out, Amazon's got slow check-in times and you can maximize the profitability of that. Use tools like Keeper to help you understand what's going to be stocking out and where the price goes. Top tip number 18, buying products in December. Now you might not be able to buy any more products for Christmas. In December, you can still actually purchase products. Amazon does not shut after Christmas. So what you need to be aware of is all the products you're looking for, you want to be making sure that you're now thinking about January, February, are these products still selling? Use your keeper chart, go back one year and see what are the sales like in December and then the following January and February. This is going to be important because things like advent calendars look great in December, but they do not sell in January. So make sure you're going back at least one year on the keeper chart and seeing what is happening and then buying those products which have good consistent sales volume all year round. There's still many good deals to be bought in December that you can take advantage of. Top tip number 19 for Q4, does Amazon close on Christmas Day? Not at all. You could still be buying, you could still be shipping in products. Amazon will still be selling products. So don't think that once December the 25th comes, that's the end. It is not. There's still money to be made 25th all the way throughout the next Q4 next year. Top tip number 20. Let's talk about January. Now, you might be thinking that January is a bad time. It's not. It's actually the third best-selling month of the year for revenue. And if you've bought really well in November, December, then you're going to have a blinding January and continue to make great profits. Now, this isn't about Q4. We're now in Q1. There's still great money to be made. I'll show you some graphs and you can see even out of my own sales in the UK and the USA, January is still a great day. And even a good friend of mine who did 10 million in the second year, January, I think, was one of the second, if not third best month to sell on. Now, top tip number 21, when you are sourcing for January, you have to be going into the keeper chart. You have to be clicking on the one year time view. And this is going to take you back to last year. Now, you cannot be looking at the last three months because the price or the sales velocity is not going to be reflective. That was Q4. You've got to be looking at what happened last January because things again, like I said before, advent calendars look great over Q4, the last three months that normally people look at on keeper. But if you go back to January, January, you'll see that the sales don't work. You're now going to be not looking at the last three month sales. You're going to be looking at what happened in January last year. That's going to give you an idea of what will happen in January next year. This is going to stop you making bad purchases. Now, if you like that, do check out the video I put around here. And also as well, I will share another video around here of how much money you can make from a virtual assistant whilst working just one hour per day. This is something that 500 Amazon sellers are using. And I'll share the profits and the breakdown of everything in that video right there.